Hello everyone, bringing you a video today looking at a small item of Dutch kit. Now this is a water sterilising outfit, sent to me, well two of them in fact, sent to me by my friend Kevin Mills, who's provided me with quite a bit of the Dutch kit that's going to form content on the channel going forwards. I'm quite interested in these, they're clearly copied off British practice, so we're going to compare them in this video to their British progenitor, which was of course introduced during the course of the Second World War. The British example been used for many years. I'm not entirely sure exactly when the Dutch example was introduced, though I'd say immediate post-war most likely. And I'm, again, I'm not entirely sure how long it was in use, but and knowing how long Dutch kit was in use, a lot of Dutch kit obviously survived pretty much all the way through the Cold War in service. I'd imagine it was around for a long time. So anyone who can fill in those blanks, I'd be very interested to know, but we're going to have a look at these and compare them to the British examples they were clearly copied from. So that's what we're going to have a look at in the video now. So we have two sterilising outfits here. The one on the left is still partially sealed. The tape's beginning to come away, but you can see this has been sealed with a cloth tape. You can see that there. This is in an olive drab painted tin with black lettering, and you can see this reads Vota Zivering's Tabletten, and then Droog Huden at the bottom there. Now, my pronunciation, be it Dutch, be it German in videos going forward, looking at a uh, kit from uh, the Netherlands, from Germany and so forth, uh, my pronunciation is always going to be off, so my apologies for that, but uh, I'll do my best with the Dutch here. Uh, we have, obviously, this This is a sealed example, and uh, I'm going to leave it as such. I might well glue this uh, back down just to keep it from peeling any further. We do have an open example here. If I open this up, the first things we have is a, in the lid here. I'll just show you the instructions here. You can pause should you wish to read, if you can read Dutch. I can't, unfortunately, but from what I can make out, these are very similar to the British instructions, though they are numbered in sequence, which is a difference from the British uh, design, which is, this is copied from. We have a, a, a small shard of mirror in the top there, a small piece of mirror, well not a shard, sorry, a small square section of mirror in the top. Not quite sure what that's about. I haven't discerned that in the instructions. I should probably type these out and try and run them through Google Translate at some point, but somebody may be able to help in the comment section. That would be appreciated. We have a piece of cardboard packing on the top there, and then inside we'll have something very familiar to those who are familiar with the British examples of these, which is the Theo tablets and sterilising tablets, and even I can translate that. Uh, we have, obviously, the, the two small bottles here containing the two different types of tablets needed for this style of, or used in this style of sterilising outfit. Obviously, Theo tablets on the left there, and they appear to be dated 1955 at the bottom, and then the sterilising tablets on the right, which appear to be dated 1958. So if I bring in a British example here, this is a British wartime example. Just open that up. First of all, I'll let you have a read of the instructions there, if you uh, wish to, the British uh, kit. And you can see it's basically a direct analogue, apart from the fact the Dutch outfit overall is considerably smaller. And as a result, the two bottles contain less tablets. You have five less tablets in each. As you can see, you have 50 in the British setup and you have 45 in each of the bottles in the Dutch outfit, as you can see there. Otherwise, basically a direct analogue, and obviously works in exactly the same way. The idea being is you, you filter the water, you then use sterilising tablets in the water to sterilise it, and you wait a time for that to take place, I think it's 30 minutes if I remember correctly from the instructions, on the British example anyway, and then you use the Theo tablets to take away the taste of the sterilising. That's the idea, as far as I'm aware. As I say, this appears to be a direct analogue, and this particular example seems to be dated to the late 1950s. If I get the bottles out here, we can have a look at them in a little bit more detail. You can see the cardboard insert there just to protect them, protect the glass bottles. These are made of glass. So you have the, the Theo tablet bottle there, which is a screw cap uh, in, again, painted olive drab, which has this olive drab tape around it to keep that sealed. And then the sterilizing tablet bottle has a plastic pop-off cap. Now, whether the date difference in these has any bearing on that, I'm not sure. Obviously this being 55, this being 58, that change. You may see later dated Theo tablet bottles which have a plastic cap, I don't know. Uh, but you do have a, a plastic pop cap on this one. Although the bottle design is basically the same as you can see in terms of size. This one being brown and this one being clear. So that's the two bottles you get in this outfit. So pop those back in there. As you can clearly see, basically copied off British practice, certainly in British use uh, the stereo tabs the single tablet uh, stereo tab system didn't come into the 1980s the late 1980s so the uh, outfits very similar to this one we in use right the way through the cold war and i'd be interested to know if the same is true for the dutch as well i would imagine so uh, but there it is just to have a quick look at a dutch 
uh, water sterilizing outfit. So there we are. I do hope you found it interesting looking at this. Not a particularly in-depth video because obviously there's not a huge amount to look at here. It's only a very small item of kit but hopefully it's been of interest looking at this and comparing it to its British progenitor. If you have found this interesting and you'd like to see more, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you do choose to subscribe, please make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button. That will of course alert you when I upload future videos. That's everything for this video. So until next time, bye for now.